Hi, David Hall. It's the Gold and Silver Coin Report. It is Friday, October 2nd, 2015. A lot of action in the gold and silver market. We had gold at 1138.70. Been bouncing around, was drove down a little bit, now came roaring back. Uh, today it was up 25 bucks, in fact. Silver spiked to a six week high on very heavy volume uh, closing at 1529 still you know for us 15 bucks silver very very cheap by the way uh, Perth Mint uh, had record sales their big supplier of silver coins uh, the Australian one ounces in the third quarter of silver with over the moon demand according to my, our friend Ari McMaster over the moon demand uh, China Central Bank bought 16 tons of gold in August, Russia 31 tons. Continuing in the East, Russia, China, India, buying gold, the West, uh, US and Euroland, selling the gold. I like their side of the trade better, but whatever. Okay, big news on silver is of course the spike up in heavy demand. Better news for us at 15 bucks, give me a break. Okay, silver is very cheap. And, okay, let's talk about availability. We now have availability on Silver Eagles, sort of. So the big wholesalers with big U.S. mint allocations, right? The mint shutdown is not any more silver for the rest of the year, it's the speculation. We were getting quoted like five bucks over spot, ridiculous price like last week. Now, with allocations out for 2016, large wholesalers will quote a price in the threes over spot, which is you know a dollar more than they were a year ago, right, over spot. But delivery is not until January of 2016. What do we think we should you should do? Uh, you can't buy junk bags; they're almost unavailable. Okay. We still think you shouldn't chase the market. Okay, if you really, really want to buy it, we'll sell it to you. But you don't get that. We'll lock you in on the price, and you got to pay for it. But you don't get delivery till January in 2016. 2016. We don't advise chasing the market. We think it's going to come down, and some silver is going to free up. Uh, we do have Australian one ounces, right, Brent? Yes, we do. Okay, and they're a lot cheaper in terms of overspot, and it's one ounce of silver, and Australia is, you know, as I just talked about the Perth Mint, very well recognized. Okay, uh, Morgan dollars, we have a very few of the Cirques. Uh, better Morgan dollars, a great buy, MS65, but we only have 300 pieces, so call us if you want them, we don't have very many. Go to our website. We just put up some Buffalo Nickels, some better dates. I'm about to send you all a paper called Hot Market Coins, when the coin market gets hot. What does good? And it's a 20th century series. Buffalo Nickels, Mercury Dimes, Standing Quarters, Walking Halves. And you know, we've recently been in, you know, Standing Liberty Quarters and Walking Halves, liking those. We're starting to like Buffalo Nickels and Mercury Dimes too. So check our website. Also have a lot of proof gold on our website. We bought a pretty significant deal. So uh, good times, good buying times for the uh, rare coin market and a great time for silver and gold. So have fun with your coins and buy some silver and gold.